So start by getting yourself a two by two, a little over two feet long, and drill a pilot hole in one end of it. And then take a two by four, a foot long, prop it up on some other two by fours to give it some space, and take some screws that are three inches long. Screw one all the way through there until the tip of it just pokes out. And you want to put the tip in that pilot hole in the two by two, and then just finish screwing the screw down into that, and that way you've got your little stand. So then I do have a template for the gnome hats, and these are basically just long triangles, and if you want them longer, you can make them longer. But cut two pieces out of your chosen fabric, and then sew them together on the edges, leaving the bottom part open. So here's four of them after I've got them sewn together, and I've got a few that are different lengths. And so then the bottoms, you just want to take those and fold them up into themselves and sew all the way around so that they have a nice little hem and a smooth line on the outside. Once you've got that done, you can just take it and flip it right side out. Use a pencil to poke out the tip if you need to, so that you get yourself a nice little gnome hat. So then take yourself some dried broom corn, and you want to vary the colors. Always get your cat to help, or two, and you just want to start attaching the broom corn to that center pole with some wreath wire. So just wrap it around and twist the wire on tight. Again, two cats here are so much help. And then you can add on some more and get a different cat to help. <laughs> just keep wrapping the wire around a couple times. You don't have to tie off the wire. Just keep it on the roll. And just go around to each piece of broom corn a few times until you got a whole layer on the bottom. And then once you got a whole layer on the bottom, put some more on to make a second layer so that it covers the wire. So it'll sit over the first layer a little bit, but be up higher. And then just keep going around until you've got the entire second layer covered in broom corn. And again, you just take the wire and wrap it around a few times. And then you want to add a third layer, making sure this time your dog helps you because, you know, cats were for the first two layers. <laughs> but just go all the way around with the broom corn to make a third layer all the way around the top. And once you get around to a third layer, this time you'll cut off the wire and just wrap it around itself a few times so it's nice and secure. So you should have this now. And so take your gnome hat, and your gnome hat's going to cover up those top wires, so you don't need any more layers. So then cut a circle out of some fluffy white material, and put some more fluffy white material in the center, and bring the edges up around that. And then just take yourself a piece of wreath wire, and you just want to wrap that very tightly around those edges that you just pulled up. Wrap it several times and pull it up nice and tight so that it stays closed, and all the stuffing inside stays secure. And twist it several times, and then spread the wires out. And then you just want to hold that a little bit under the hat so it pushes the hat up a little bit. You can pull the hat off here and spread the wires out, twist it around the back, and twist the wires together. Make sure a cat supervises this stage to see that it's done right. <laughs> and once that's securely fastened, you can just slide the hat back down. And again, in the very center, the nose should kind of push the hat up a little bit in the center because it gives it a cute look. So here's the one that I did in this video, and here are a couple of little friends. The sunflower one is good for summer. <laughs>